Hi, I'm Bill Atwood from Commons Education Associates. In a previous video, I explained how to use the quick fix sentences in Gary Chadwell's Checkmate program. Today, just a quick follow-up video to show you the specific steps to download the quick fix sentences and send them out electronically as a homework or remote learning assignment, for example, in a Google Classroom situation. It's pretty simple. Let's get right to it. I want to show you in this short video how to use the quick fix sentences in an electronic environment. First of all, what you want to do is you want to open up your Gmail and find where the quick fix sentences were sent to you. They probably came in either as a Word document or as a PDF. Now, depending on your school's platform, you want to decide whether you want to download them to your, to your desktop or to some drive like Google Drive. I'm going to choose to download the Word version to my Google Drive. That way, when I open my Google Drive, you can see the Word version is right here, and it's going to ask me, how do I want to open? Well, I'm going to open it with Google Docs, because once I get it into a Google Doc situation, I can use it in my Google Classroom. Here are the quick fix sentences as a Google Doc. When I open up my um, Google Classroom, I want to create an assignment. And it's very easy to do. You just title the assignment, quick fix sentences, put any instructions you have, and then add from your Google Drive the template that you want. Here is the Word version. Here's the Google Doc version. I simply click on that and add that assignment. Here is very important when you create the assignment to, to don't use students can view file, but make a copy for each student. That way, they will be able to edit them, and it will have their name on it when they open it. Now, I've already done this, so let me just back up and show you the assignment that I've already created here. Edit quick fix sentences number one. So I'm just going to go in and edit this assignment so you can see how I set it up. The title is Edit Quick Fix Sentences Set 1, and there's four directions I put in for this initial assignment. I want the students to, number one, go to the upper right corner of their screen and click on Editing. Use the drop-down menu to change to Suggesting. Edit sentences one to four, and then turn in. I've already added the Google Doc Quick Fix Sentences, Level B, and I'm ready to send it off to the students because I have made it so each student will get a copy of this Google Doc, and then they can make their changes and send it back to me. When my student opens his, he will get the directions right here, and he will have the assignment right here. When he clicks on the assignment, it will open again as a Google Doc. He or she will scroll down to find the sentences that are the assignment. Here it is, set one, level B. Now my first direction was to go up to the upper right corner by this little pencil icon and change editing to suggesting. Once you've done that, you go in and you can see Jacob has already started the first sentence. He changed the little d to a capital D and you see how it came out in green? That shows him that he made one fix. In the sec at the end of the sentence, he added a question mark and they're both documented over here on the right. Going on to sentence number two, is the earth a star? No, but our sun is a middle-sized star. Well, let's change that to is the earth a star? Question mark. You can see the green has showed that there has been a change made. Capital N for no. And then at the end, a period. So again, there were four fixes and two sentences. That looks pretty good. You continue on this way until you have done the first four sentences. Now you might say to yourself, well, can't they just run the spelling and grammar check here on the left? Well, if you do, it will find some changes, but not all of the changes. Here it's indicating in sentence five, the word T-O-O -O is the wrong form of two, but it's missed lots of other mistakes throughout the document. I think it's very important that students see this, that while the grammar and spell checker are helpful, they cannot rely on that 100% to find all the mistakes in the document. Once they've finished fixing all of it, they just hit the turn in button and it comes back to you as the teacher where you can see if they made the sentences easily uh, fix the sentence easily because you can look at the green changes. You can then uh, score it and um, send it back to them as a, a returned piece. That's basically all there is to it. It's great practice for the students 
to fix these sentences electronically because that's probably going to mirror what they're going to be doing in real life. I hope you enjoy and get a lot of use out of these quick fix sentences. Have a great day.